This is Henry Frederick of Headline Surfer, and I'm here in Osteen, Florida with Catherine Peavy, one of a dozen homeowners on Osteen Maytown Road, where Volusia County has gone about uh, its diligence of tearing apart their land uh, to make way for a bike path and what appears to be a four-lane highway. Is that correct, Ms. Peavy? That's correct. And um, you were in court about this, what, Thursday, Friday? Thursday morning. And how did that go? Um, we did not win. We uh, did not get our injunction, but that doesn't mean that we are stopping the fight because we are going to continue So you the lost fight. a battle, but not necessarily the war. Right, exactly. Um, how big of a battle is this? How big of a war is this actually? It's huge. I mean, to fight Volusia County, to fight a government entity with very little money, it's huge. We don't have the funds, but we're, we're finding ways for people to help us. I, I came across this study online and trying to research this. It seems a rather obscure project to begin with. Um, they talked about ecotourism, but I mean, how much ecotourism can you have out here? It's a, basically a country road from one side of the county to the other. That's correct. There's nothing out here, and you actually lose self, uh, cell service out this way. It's 20 miles of almost nothing. Now, I've been told that the uh, bicycle path, as I pan around, isn't supposed to go much past that red stick right there. That's correct. No, no further than the telephone pole, actually. And so why coming in all this way? Well, the engineer for Volusia County, Gerald Brenton, um, seems to have a personal vendetta against us. Um, they're only supposed to be laying pipe underneath here, yet he has raped every bit of our land and our trees. Um, some of these trees over 60 years old have been just wiped out. And um, we have proof he came in on Wednesday afternoon and told the crew, actually brought the crew up from up a ways and made them come down here just to clear our property. Well, I believe that you're hearing this before Circuit Judge Robert K. Rouse. That's correct. And he's a veteran judge. In fact, he may even be retiring soon. At the end of this month. Um, so where does your case go from here? I mean, do you have a full-fledged lawsuit or um, we can appeal preliminary his, stages? We can appeal his uh, ruling, but we are going to go ahead and um, we have some legal avenues that we are pursuing. Um, did you try to get it? Was it you lost a battle to get an injunction yes. to stop the construction yeah. pending further uh, legal review? Correct. And uh, what was the grounds for him denying it from your perspective? Um, Obviously, you don't buy it, but what was his? Being that we don't, ha we did not have a lawyer. We had a lot of this. Um, you were pro se, exactly representing yourselves. Um, had we had a little bit more um, evidence, we probably could have won. But did the county have an attorney there? They had two attorneys, uh -huh. the, the engineer. And so they used a lot of the legal mumbo jumbo, right? Uh, they did. Um, and they also brought in two specialists from Zev Cohen, who was the environmental service, and another, um, another group. Now, I was, t I was reading on Facebook on your social page, um, your, uh, the page for your cause here about tortoises being uh, relocated. Mm -hmm. um, they have to be pretty... Uh, deeply embedded to begin with, right? Yes, and we had quite a few. We actually went through in GPS locations. My husband did GPS locations of the, the turtles themselves. And actually over there, um, there is a, um, a marker on- Now that's your hubby over there working with a neighbor. Yes, down on the ground. He's replanting a, a bush that they tore up. Um, over there is a, um, a fence post that's labeled with pink. And um, that was a tortoise hole, but when we came home one day, it was completely covered in. My husband actually had to get the, the, the dirt out of the hole. Uh -huh. Well, this is Henry Frederick, and we'll be back with our second segment for the Sunday Conversation with Catherine Peavy here in Osteen.